Hello everyone, this is Alex from Alm Studio. And today, in our studio, we got our hands on the latest Inner Silicon Miner A11 for Ethereum. Today, we are going to test this baby in real life and see how much mega hashes we are going to get from it on a pool. So, let's set up A11 from Inner Silicon on the OBTC Ethereum pool. Let's go. First of all, we will need to find its IP. I'm using LANSCAN application, checking my Wi-Fi. Okay, we should be on the same network with the machine. Let's scan it. Okay. And this one should be it. Let's copy, paste. Okay, we are in. Ah, by the way, uh, to log in into this machine, it's not like in uh, Bitmine system. You will need to use admin and admin for password. This is a default. Okay, we are not going to say. So this is our dashboard. It doesn't look anything like the Bitmines. Uh, at the moment, the device is uh, tuning to get the best performance. The tune usually takes 30 minutes. Uh, meanwhile, we are going to set up our pool settings while we are waiting for the machine to tune and be ready for work. We'll need to go to pools and over here we have option for free pools. Uh, I will put all the options because in VABTC we have three options for pool, one main pool and two backup pools. I will be putting a link for VABTC down below in this video, so if you need it you can easily register it on via BTC and start mining Ethereum. Okay, so uh, let's put our information. Okay, pool URL, user, oops, user, and our password, zero, zero. Let's check it, name, password, yes. Okay, this one is done. Let's do it for all other. Okay, done. And let's copy the servers. Done. Done. Okay, update the pools. Okay, we have successfully updated the pool. Okay, and when the device will finish tuning, we will see our data over here in our minor status dashboard. Okay, we can see that our miner is working. Uh, all our pools are available. At the moment, we are mining at 108 mega hashes, which is not a full speed. We will need to wait for the device to update. Okay, so we are at 142 at the moment. Let's see our pool. Workers, we can see that our worker is available, but we don't see any hash rate yet. So we will need to wait a little bit, at least 10 minutes to see the full potential of this machine. Okay, so now we can see that after almost 40 minutes, we are working at 1.61 giga hashes on ethereum algorithm our efficiency rate is almost 95 percent which is good and our fan is at 100 percent keeping our chips at perfect 45 degrees also here you can see our four chains and different hash rates that we have uh, interesting thing about this miner is if we are going to performance there is also a performance option, which of course will use more electricity, but I think this baby can work at easily 2 gigahashes, maybe 2.1 gigahash of Ethereum algorithm, which at a good exchange rate is a really, really good option to increase the power. So this is basically how we set up it. Let's see in our pool, what do we have? 
Okay, the pool is reporting 1.6 giga hashes, one worker is active. This is a daily average payout for Ethereum for mega hash. This is our hash rate and let's see our worker. Well, we have a rejection rate of 5 or 30%, which is fine. I think it will get lower while the machine is working. So this is in a silicon A11 Ethereum miner, which is mining at 1.66 giga hashes. Well, you have seen we have achieved 1.5 giga hashes of promised speed. This machine works stable, fine. We receive our shares, our blocks, and maybe we should try to merge mine it with Zilcoin on Zilpool. Maybe we'll be able to get some success. But this is a topic for another video. For this video, I would like to thank you for watching. Hit the thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. This was Alex from Audio Studio with A11 from Inusilicon. Take care. Bye-bye.